on Tevery again. So I've got just a quick look into what goes on at GPW on um, the show night. And um, there's so much that goes into a wrestling show. Um, GPW are at the Rolls Club in Ingley, um, near Wigan. Call it every month. I think the next show's in February. Because um, having a break over Christmas, January. Um, then the show is in February, but normally it is like every month. I think we have a break in summer as well. Um, it all depends on timetables and everything. But I've been going to GPW since uh, 2004, 2005. Uh, so it's 11, 12 years that I've been going. And I just love the shows. Um, they are amazing. It all started off with me and Danielle going, and then Danielle and Kirsty started coming, and then Danielle and Stacy and Kirsty, and then Dion and Bryony ended up coming as well. And we now have the next generation of wrestling fans because Dion has just had a little baby girl. Uh, he's three weeks old and she came to the first wrestling show this weekend and and she slammed on the way through it but um yeah we've got the next generation now um danielle's like a boy ethan he loves the wrestling so we've got an all new generation of gpw fans um Wrestling after fantasy, sci-fi, that kind of thing is my next big love. Um, I mean, wrestling has been the, through some of the best times in my life and some of the worst. And, you know, wrestling will always be a part of my life. I wrestled a bit myself until my knee kind of put um, a stopper on that. But, you know, it's one of those things that I've always loved. Just like the showmanship and the passion that they have. I mean, people say that, oh, wrestling is fake, you know. The outcome of the matches, we know who's going in for tackles, blah, blah, blah. That may be the case, but I hate it when people say it's fake. If you're going to say anything about wrestling, say choreographed. Because the moves that the guys do, the guys and girls do, are amazing. And one little slip up, one little mistake, and your career's over. You can break a neck, you can break your back, you can break a leg. You know, I remember at one of the shows, um, one of the wrestlers dislocated his kneecap and I think that was the end of his career because he's never been back to CPW and I've not heard of him on the wrestling circuit for a bit. So, you know, it's easy to say, oh, wrestling's fake, wrestling's not real, but the training you have to put in and the time and effort you have to put in to get in the moves right, to get in everything spot on. The timing it takes and the coordination it takes to do moves, to just land the move well and land the move safely, then you don't end up hurting the person you're working with. You know, a lot of people don't take that into consideration. They just think that it's fake and think, oh, I can do it, I can get it. Well, no, you know, it's not that simple. It takes years and years of practice, determination, and just so and aching bones and bodies and but I said when I used to do it and that buzz you get when you come out of the curtain and that electricity you feel from the crowd 
it is amazing. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is GP, that was a little bit GPW. And I just wanted to show the other side of my life, um, the other side of the bit that wasn't fantasy and sci fi. This is the other bit that I love and adore. Um, I mean, like I say, I've been going for 11, 12 years, and I think out of those 11, 10, 11 12 years, there's Bubblegum, Joey A's, and CJ Banks, who are the ones who's been there from day one, since the day after started going. If the original ones are still there, I've seen people come and go from GPW. And you know, it's so sad because some of them, like Dirk Feelgood and LSC, you know, I miss those guys as well because they were so much fun and so fantastic. They, I loved watching them. And they pop up every so often, you know, and they come back. But it's just, I love, going it's like I said after conventions it's the one thing I look forward to because I'm not I don't go out drinking I don't go out night clubbing I I don't like nightclubs I don't um I I used to go to nightclubs a lot but I just did not like them at all it was so noisy and you couldn't just sit and chat and you know, but I, I'm not one for crowds and I'm not one for being on a squash dance, fo dance floor. Um, I think that's part of the autism, um, being surrounded and closed in. I would start having panic attacks. And I think that's what's the good thing about the conventions and wrestling as well. You know, you don't have that... Um, fear of enclosed, there's always a way you can get out and make sure that you're not gonna have a meltdown and the fact that the wrestlers are understanding and you know there's people in the audience who's understanding as well. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go now because this is getting very very late so I will say love you lots and lots like Jelly Tots and keeping wig and weird. And um, check out the links that I'll put in the description and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!